Let's talk a little bit about password security. So I'm going to write that top word here because right now we're doing a horrible job on our website about security. But it shows how things might work in, in our system here. So, All right, because right now what we're doing is we are storing the password on our database. And while that has one nice advantage, that being that we can, if the user wants to have their password sent to them because they've forgotten it or lost or whatever, we can send it to them. It has many more significant downsides than, than that positive upside because any website that has passwords is vulnerable. It's vulnerable for um, someone to be able to try to break into your system and, and steal it. And so what we want to do is make it not worthwhile to steal. And so if we just keep the passwords on our website that is a very valuable thing for someone who's malicious who wants to utilize our website to break into your website uh, important and it's it's not just because that your website is vulnerable it's because when uh, people get tired of getting new passwords when you store a password on your website and someone breaks into it it leads to passwords for other sites and that is is really bad because when someone ends up discovering that your website has been compromised and they need to reset their password on your site they may have to reset their password or they should reset their password on all the other sites that regardless of the um, quality of the decision they've decided to reuse that password over and over again and so we do not want to help people who are malicious into finding out passwords for our website that may lead to passwords for uh, other websites so I'm gonna put in here a, a big giant X over this because it's such a bad idea instead what we should do is we should store uh, store a token that represents the password um, and usually we do this with something that's called a cryptographic secure hash or a, a one-way uh, function and the basic idea of a cryptically cryptographically secure hash is, is that we stick a password into some sort of cryptographically secure hash and that is a function that processes your password and it spits out your result or your, your hash and this is what you store and the reason for for doing this is is because like this name suggests it's one way there isn't an inexpensive way to, to do the opposite. There isn't a uh, cryptographically secure inverse function where we can pass in our hash value and get back our password. Okay, Th We can do it but it's, it's expensive. So again I will cross this out in, in red as well. That doesn't exist. And so the only reasonable mechanism for 
if a if someone's malicious gets a copy of your your passwords the only thing they can do is that they can try all pal all possible passwords until they come up with a matching hash and then they know that they have your password so <clears throat> this can be extremely expensive the the malicious person doesn't know what password you're going to use and so they have to try a number of, of, of passwords and they can do this over and over again unfortunately uh, a lot of people tend to use weak and repetitive passwords so w what they what they'll do is they will let's get a, a new new page here what what the, they'll do is if if person 1 uses some weak password let's just call it weak and person 2 uses that same password let's say weak then our cryptographically secure version of that password is going to be the same for both person 1 and person 2 and and so if the malicious hacker identifies the person 1's password they can immediately identify person 2's password and it's even worse than that if you've got a big enough site the weakest passwords the most pro the most prevalent passwords are going to show up very frequently and so they're going to see the same hash over and over again a number of times and so they can choose the most common mo weak passwords that they've seen other websites that have been documented over and over again uh, ha have been used and so it, it becomes incredibly easy for them to break this this system with with people with the same password using it and so in order to help out our uh, users who who may have made bad choices we don't take their password and directly enter it into our cryptographically secure hash what instead we do is we take a cryptographically secure hash and we do some random string known to us but not our user and we combine that with their password to get a hash and since this is random even though person 1 and person 2 use the same password they have different these are called salts they have different salts and so and now instead of them being the the same output they become different and so now our malicious person is not able to identify which users have used weak passwords and instead will have to try all possible passwords now with all possible um, salts to be able to identify what a person's password is. Unfortunately, if we want to be able to repeat this password, we're going to have to store the salt that we add to the password. Because the next time a user comes and says, my password is weak, we need to make sure that we use the same salt as we used the first time. Because we stored this value. We didn't store the password. And, and so when, when we store a password in our, our database, we're going to store the salt and the hash. And together, we're going to call this our digest. And so whenever a new user comes and says, my password is weak, we combine it, we say, okay, well, your user one, your salt is user one salt. Your password is weak. We take the cryptographically secure hash of that and, and then we match it to the hash we stored. If they're the same, we assume that only the user could have known that password and so we authenticate them 
properly. If it's different, then we say, oh, this must be, they forgot it, they did a typo, or you know, they're malicious and trying to get into our site, whatever. And we disallow them from being able to, to use our site. This is a, a much stronger, much more secure and caring way to take care of your users and their passwords than what we've done on our website. Every website should do something like this in order to be um, more secure and more safe with users' passwords. And so this is something that you should do for your users on your website. In our next episode, we'll see how we can do this in Rails.